Hi ladies, hi gents. Uh, just want to share a quick project with you this evening. Um, and this is the back of it because I wanted to show you how I started off. I actually started off with one of these doily table mats as my base um, for this project. So I just wanted to show you that before I turned it over. And then onto that I lay a piece of um, fabric cream fabric. Um, so this is my project. So it's a wall hanging and um, it's it's quite large. Let me just measure it. It's uh, 19 inches <laughs> by 13. So yeah it is quite large. Um, so I, I added uh, some plain cream fabric onto the doily to give me my base and um, then I added some embroidered fabric, sheer embroidered fabric on top of that here, if I just, let me see, if I just zoom in okay so you'll, you'll see this is the embroidered fabric that I added, so I added that all over um, the cream fabric. Um, you'll just see, you see it carries on up here and here, so... Oh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so then what I did is I... I edged the, the two sides with the same laces, so I actually used three laces, so I used a cotton lace, then a small embroidered lace, and then the scalloped lace here, and I've done the exact same thing on both sides. I'll just zoom in again, sorry, but it's so large that it's hard for me to show you the, the detail. So I used this cotton lace. Then this embroidered lace, and then this scalloped one. All the laces are um, from my stash. Um, that m a lot of people ask me where I buy my laces. Most of my laces, apart from my design team ones, um, actually come from eBay. I search a lot on eBay for laces. Um, so it's no particular store or anything like that. I quite often look for people that are selling off laces, so it's um, auctions where I have to bid on them. Um, it's not actually like individual stores or anything like that. So that's how I find my laces. Um, so I did that on both sides. Then for the centre, I had this image already on fabric and cut out um, and I placed it onto a vintage doily which you can just see under here so this lovely aged vintage doily I then added a second vintage doily as well underneath that the image is put onto I added this um, lace here from my stash all the way around keeping the circle theme. Then this beaded section here, let me zoom in so you can see this. This beaded section here was actually from a collar piece and it already had all the beads and the diamante on there. So I cut the collar in half and used it at the bottom of the picture. And I just picked that up in a sale in one of the shops in town. I think it was New Look actually that I picked this this collar up. Um, then round the top of the picture, I had these uh, small applique pieces that I actually purchased from um, Rosella. Hi Rosella, and um, thank you so much um, for selling. Uh, wooden appliques and I actually tea dyed them myself 
to give them the the aged look. So so the bottom is the collar, the top is uh, tea dyed um, wedding appliques. So I'm thrilled how they turned out. Um, down the side here, I hung a dang uh, dangle, and this this chain dangle charm, this one here, is actually from D. Hi D, and she is. DK Crafts by D here on YouTube and then I've just added a couple of um, crystal beads and bead caps onto that also so that hangs nicely down the side of the image um, if I show you down the bottom so here I've added this gorgeous lace again which is from my stash and this embroidered one and the scallop here is actually the bottom of the um, fabric so this piece was on the bottom of the fabric so there's there's two laces added there plus this um, gorgeous applique piece which is this full length here and I do think the top of it looks like a crown and I've just added a, a small pearl earring here. Let me zoom in on that so you can see what I'm talking about. So the top of that applique looks like, I think it looks like a crown. And so I just added this pearl earring here. And then in the middle of that applique, I just made a small um, crochet flower to place there. And this is an earring, which is actually a heart pearl with diamantes in between. So I've added that. Um, and then either side, again, I've added some wedding applique, which I tea dyed. Um, I've also added a few small doilies. There's two here on each corner with the applique. Um, okay, then at the top, I've added this um, beaded trim, which is also embroidered. Uh, this gorgeous uh, scallop trim. And then I cut out some small, tiny doilies and added to it to the trim, and then placed some more bead earrings into the centres just to finish it off and what I'll probably do is I'll probably take some still photographs because I know it's difficult to show you the detail on such a large piece and then you can see I've used uh, one of these wire hangers that I have it's actually my second last one I've got one more <laughs> um, and actually the one I've got left one of the clips is missing so I need to add a clip to it so this is really my last one, apart from the one that I've got to fix. So um, I will be keeping this one and hanging it up in my room <laughs> because I have given away all the others. So um, so yeah, that's my uh, wall hanging and I had so much fun making this, so much fun. And I'm so thrilled how it turned out for such a large piece. I was worried there wasn't going to be enough in it. Um, but I will take some photographs and see if I can show you in a bit more detail and I'll attach them to the end of the video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you like my project and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.